Hi guys! Today, we are going to discuss the needed admin settings so we can start to use the fixed assets module of SAP Business One. So in summary, the admin setup works like this. The first step is setting up account determination and then depreciation types and then depreciation areas and finally, the asset classes. We can also set the attribute groups, but for this tutorial, we will not cover that yet. So, but uh, anyways, if you, have, if you haven't seen my tutorial for the previous process, which are done by the various departments or uh, other process owners, you can just click on the link on the description below. Ayan. For today's topic, we will not cover those steps, but we'll discuss only the admin setup. Okay, for today's topic, admin setup only. All right, let's go now to the first step, which is the setup of account determination. So the GL account determination and SAP Business One enables the admin to customize the financial accounts mapping with various business transactions such that the financial module gets automatically updated upon manipulation of various documents in the system. So let me simplify this. So for example, I want to depreciate the assets for the month of September. So what will I do is click the depreciate function and then automatically the transaction will post to the depreciation account and as well as to the accumulated depreciation account. For example, this uh, example is this depreciation expense, computer equipment, depreciation expense, motorcycles, accumulated depreciation, computer equipment, and then accumulated depreciation motorcycles. Yeah. All right, to better understand this, let's now go to the account administration, uh, account determination setup. Let's click the administration menu and then let's go to the setup folder. And after that, let's head on to the financials subfolder. And then go to the fixed assets subfolder. And then to the account determination menu. So as you can see here, we can now start to update or edit or add the related account codes. Okay, since there might be many GL accounts that we need to use, of course, uh, we need to use a unique identifiable code for each setup. For example, let's uh, click this add button so that we can start to edit. Let's say we put a code of FA MC MC uh, FAM C MC cos and 36 uh, fixed asset module FAM and then MC cost motorcycle cost of sales and 36 months or three years for uh, I just shorten it up okay and then let's put on the description maybe we can uh, describe uh, something here but for this purpose this, let's just copy the code that we are going to use okay so now we can set already the account codes. For example, in the balance sheet account, the asset account, which is which is motorcycle. All right, let's find the motorcycles. And then the asset acquisition clearing account, which can be also motorcycles. Actually, uh, you can create a different account for the acquisition clearing account. But uh, for me, I prefer to use the direct GL account, which is the asset account like this, motorcycles directly. And, and then let's add uh, the account for the ordinary depreciation, which is depreciation, expense, motorcycles. Let's look at the motorcycles. Mm -hmm. There's no motorcycles yet. let's say this is uh, for motorcycles let's just uh, rename this depreciation 
Assuming we are using the correct data, guys, ah, depreciation. And then, adding the accumulated ordinary depreciation. Accumulated depreciation motorcycles. And then, adding also the re revenue from asset sales, which let's say we use the union bank account or the bank, the bank account. And then retirement with expense net which uh, we can use loss on retirement of assets and then revenue with retirement with revenue net which we can use gain on retirement of assets and then net book value retirement expense actually uh, we can use also the same account for example uh, gross let's say we use Let's say we use loss on retirement of assets and then net book value retirement revenue gross. Let's say we use also the gain on retirement of assets and then the, re the revenue account for retirement, which can be also the gain on retirement of assets. And lastly, the revenue clearing account, which can be the union bank account or the asset account cash okay so other types of account can be left blank but you can still use this maybe later on which depends on your organization or depends on the needs of your uh, accounts or maybe some later but right now we will uh, scope out these accounts okay so after the setup we can now click the add button to save the first account determination so actually later on you can add other account determinations for example you have a you have a uh, let's say you have a building or you have a leasehold improvements you have an armored car you have a service vehicle so it depends on your needs but for our example we will just use motorcycles okay so let's click the add button so that uh, we can save the setup okay all right now let's say we have finished already adding the account determinations for example we have added 20 account determinations the next step is then setting the depreciation types so let's go back to the main menu the administration setup financials fixed assets and Click here, the depreciation types. So uh, depreciation types is used to define the different calculation methods for the fixed assets. Well, it depends on your organization whether you need the straight line uh, method or the declining balance method or immediate rate of method or other calculation methods. But for this example, we will just create a depreciation using the normal depreciation method, which is the straight line. So let's begin by clicking the add button at the top and then indicating the code, which can be uh, SLM or a straight line method. Oops, straight line method and uh, SB of 5%. 5%. So we can just copy the description, but uh, it depends on you too, what description you like. And then we will select the depreciation, which is the straight line. Yeah. And of course, uh, we will select the calculation base to be monthly. But of course, it also depends on your organization too, if you just want it to be yearly. And then we will set up the salvage value, which in our example is 5%, all right? And then after that, we can now save and uh, by clicking the add button here. So we now have the depreciation type, which is for the motorcycles. And actually, it's not for motorcycles alone. Uh, we, if ever you need uh, the same depreciation type for other uh, for other fixed asset, you can use the this one, the SLM SV five percent. 
okay so now let's go to the next step let's step so let's go back to the main menu the administration menu and then set up and then the, the fixed assets and then to the depreciation area so the depreciation area are used to calculate different values in parallel for the same asset this may be required for uh, management reports uh, tax reports costing and others but for the purpose of our tutorial we will only discuss the main area which is posting to gl this is the depreciation that is recorded to the books okay so let's go back to the main menu and then clicking here the depreciation area all right and actually we have already added in the database for the depreciation area so we don't need to add another one but let's check the the previous one that is already created so as we can see here the code is fixed asset which has a description of gap also although you can change that it depends on you whether you want the code to be described differently and then the type is posting to GL. Posting to GL means that it will be directly posted to the account. Okay? So this will be not be used for other purposes but for uh, depreciation in the books. Or other... Uh, or what I mean is direct posting to the books. Okay? And then of course, uh, we can select the posting depreciation which is direct and indirect but in my case i prefer the indirect posting <clears throat> so that the so that the depreciation will be posted to the accumulated depreciation account if you will use direct posting the depreciation will go to the asset account which uh, it will be hard to monitor the asset account okay and then after that you can click the gross here on the posting of retirement and after which you can click OK and hooray, you already have the depreciation area. Uh, and as I have mentioned, it depends on your organization. Whatever reports you need, for example, you need to add additional area. Uh, you can add that. Uh, I am just uh, teaching here the main depreciation area. Okay. All right. Let's click OK. And then... Let's now go to the asset classes, okay? So, actually, the asset classes is very important as it will be used in the, as a reference by other departments. So, when they are going to tag an asset, for example, there is a, a new laptop, the preparer of the asset master data will identify in their interface what asset class they will charge that. So, if they can understand the asset class and just tag those to incorrect classes, your accounting entries will be affected. For example, the item that are actually purchased is laptop. But since the, the preparer of the asset master data do not understand the asset class, the correct asset class for laptop because the, your code is... Uh, worded as 09 like that he may just tag those uh, laptop to this code which may be wrong so you need to clearly define the asset class for example if you are talking of motorcycles then you you need to be sure that uh, it is very clear that it is for motorcycles motorcycles yeah. and then of course uh you may need to add uh some description for example if this is for the cost of revenue or cost of sales or for opex you need to add description or opex so it depends on your organization whether you want to add more details to the code and to the description so that they will they will correctly classify the asset master or the or the assets to the correct asset class yeah. so most likely you will be have a hard time uh using this asset class if if the code in the description can't be easily understood 
So this must be in a plain and very understandable detail. So let's start adding now the asset class. Okay? So for this example, we will set the asset class to motorcycle cost or cost of sales and then copying the the code to the description but uh, as i have always mentioned it depends on the needs of your organization whether you want to add more details but for this example let's just uh, use motorcycle cost and then clicking the general asset type and selecting the depreciation area which is fixed asset the one that is already set up and then the account determination which is also the one that we have set up earlier so let's locate that that is uh, fam fixed asset module motorcycle and cost of sales 36 and then setting up the depreciation type which is the one that we have uh, prepared which is the slm sb 5 percent and then the useful month which is uh, 36 months okay and then after that we can now click the update and congratulations your fixed asset module of sap business one is now ready to use okay so if you want to determine the effect of the entries you can visit my other tutorial on the link in the description below and thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe to keep updated of our next tutorials bye bye